said, do you know what time it is? It's time for KP. KP and the news. Yeah. That's right. It's news time, baby. News time, baby. Gotta always enjoy your tasty beverage. Okay, time for the news. And uh, as, as a continuing crusade to try to do what I can to try to expose what's going on here as far as uh, the black women and black girls being being kidnapped and abducted, I uh, sad to say that I have another another story of another young black woman that has this uh, missing. And um, deputy search for a missing Mississippi Domino's pizza worker after a car was found abandoned. Mississippi law enforcement investigators are asking for the public's help in locating a pizza worker who went missing Friday afternoon. The Madison County Sheriff's Office reports that Hilarica Latrice Dorch, 31 years old, has been seen, was last seen in her Domino's pizza uniform Friday afternoon. Dorch is approximately five foot seven and weighs approximately 165 pounds. She was driving a maroon 2015 Chevy Malibu. Deputies say they found the car abandoned. If you have any any information, please call Madison County Sheriff's Office. Uh, Madison County at uh, 601-859-2345. That's 601-859-2345 or call 911. So that's, uh, uh, that was the picture that I had. If you saw the picture, at the beginning, the beginning of the uh, broadcast, that was the, uh, the young lady's picture. Uh, young lady's picture. So here we go with uh, second story here, and this story right here is kind of tricky, real tricky, really, really tricky, because it's it's uh, a black woman faces prison time because of a Jim Crow era plan to protect white voters. Lanisha Bratcher voted in 2016 president, uh, presidential election. Three years later, she was arrested because she had broken the law she didn't know about. Len uh, Lanisha Bratcher was finishing breakfast at home one morning at the end of July when there was a knock on the door uh, she had been discharged from the hospital the night before following a miscarriage that left her mourning the loss of her child. Her partner opened the door. It was the police. They burst into the uh, North Carolina home like the Dukes of Hazard. Uh, Bratcher, Bratcher said there was a warrant out for her arrest, they told her. Bratcher had no idea what for. Her crime, voting in the 2016 presidential election. Bratcher faces up to 19 months in prison because she did not realize she had actually been stripped of her right to vote. Her lawyer says she's been punished uh, based on a Jim Crow era law that was intended to disenfranchise African American voters. Bratcher was on probation after being convicted of assault and uh, North Carolina law mandates that people convicted of felonies can only vote once they complete their criminal sentence including probation and parole entirely. That's crazy. Uh, with documents obtained showed that a prosecutor brought charges against Bratcher even though state officials said she may have illegally voted unintentionally. The decision also came after a report in which state officials recognized there were serious problems in the system in place to inform convicted felons of their voting rights. So they have nothing in place to inform them about, about their voting rights, but at the same time they want to lock you back up for voting. The state's law of banning people for, uh, convicted of felonies from voting is rooted in the late 19th century effort by North Carolina Democrats to limit voting power of newly enfranchised African Americans that were just uh, released under under at the end of the Civil War. and. 1898, the North Carolina Democratic Party spoke of the need to rescue the white people of the East from the curse of Negro domination. Since then, North Carolina lawmakers have tweaked the law, but its core stripping felon, felons of their voting rights 
while they serve criminal sentence remains in place. Uh, Carella, Bratch's lawyer, noted the vast majority of people caught up in, in the law are African Americans. A law that was intended to racially discriminate against a group is unconstitutional, he said. We also know it continues to work that way in its modern application in the 2016 election. Carella argues that the goal is to dissuade black voters from give, going to the polls that could make a big difference in North Carolina, a fiercely political uh, competitive state that is expected to play a key role in the 2020 elections. In Bratch's case, it seems to have worked. She's not sure if she'll uh, ever vote again, even once she's legally allowed to. It seems really dangerous, she said. And it's like really, you know, see this is this is the kind of garbage this, it goes on in, in the United States and uh, people from other, other countries and other states don't understand that a lot of these draconian laws and rules and regulations are still on the books from the 1800s. This, this is, uh, you know, 150 years later, they, they, it's still the same nonsense, the same stupidity going on in this country. So you got to be aware. The Arizona dad uh, who killed a man after he tried to enter his daughter's bathroom stall is sentenced to eight years in prison. A Phoenix father who beat an intruder resulting in his death has been sentenced to eight years in prison. 41-year-old Melvin Harris had gone to pick up his 16-year-old daughter and her two friends at a quick trip near 19th and Durango Avenues on uh, August 2nd. When he, when he met his daughter, she told him that an unknown man tried to get into the women's restroom and it's a uh, locked cubicle that she, that she was in. Se uh, security had been called and the man was, was brought out and the daughter identified him to her father which Harris had told the guard to, to handle the situation or he would take matters into his own hands. The man who had allegedly broken in was identified as 26 year old Leon Armstrong. Harris punched him according to the witnesses and knocked him down, continued to beat him. Fox um, uh, say he said, "Take care of the situation, and he would do it, do it himself." Police said, "Harris told the police that Armstrong had started the fight and punched him, punched him first, and that he fell on his own, and that he did not beat him after he was knocked down." Witnesses said that Harris had stomped, punched, and kicked the man. The news report, uh, the news outlet reported, he then left the scene of the crime. The incident left Armstrong with brain injuries and he succumbed to them after a few days and he had, had a broken nose and his brain had repeatedly swollen up. Harris was charged with second degree murder. However, he took a plea deal and was charged with manslaughter. AZ family reported that Armstrong uh, uh, said so you cannot tell, tell someone they're wrong with for, for protecting their children, Jackson told the station. I would have done the same thing. I don't know. I don't feel bad at all at all for his actions. I feel bad that the man ended up dying in the process. I feel bad about that, but I do not feel bad about a, a person that is uh, defending defending uh, his teenage daughter. So that's the story. And uh, so, you know, that's a real bad situation, you know. You know, what, what are you supposed to do? You're just supposed to let people just run over your kids and just uh, harass your kids and, and sexually assault your children and you're just supposed to stand there and it's supposed to be okay you know it's really sad really a sad situation you know so when you're caught up in a catch-22 situation like that and uh, he acted uh, probably like 95 percent of fathers would probably do so this is uh, uh, 24 hours later after the impeachment vote, impeachment vote to get rid of the D.C. dunce, and uh, it passed in the House. Uh, now it's going to be working its way to the Senate, which the Senate will probably uh, try to squash it and get rid of it. You know, the seat is sent to the Senate now for removal, and they're, they're not going to remove Trump because it's, uh, they're so busy stealing and doing so much corrupt stuff over there and they like him because he's corrupt just like they are so they're not going to try to do anything to get him out and it's a really bad a sad day for us as people in this country that have to suffer 
under this uh, weak-minded, stupid uh, uh, D.C. dunce so-called president over there, which is the farthest thing from the president. The last real president that we had in this country, without a doubt, would, uh, was Barack Obama. So it's like, okay, he was, Barack Obama was president number 44, so he's the last real president. This guy we got in there now is a complete D.C. dunce. So, tasty beverage. Thank you for the impeachment. That's uh, half of the theme song, baby. I'm steady tweaking it. News time, baby. News time. 